Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the trend line drawing tools that are available inside Metastock and how to plot them. So let's go ahead and go and look at our chart here. I've got just a standard chart, uh, standard bar charts here. And we're going to talk about some of the different drawing tools over here. So first of all, our standard drawing tools right here, this is just your standard cursor. Uh, so as I point, it will show you the prices. Uh, here I have crosshairs. Crosshairs will give you the price and the date of what you're looking at. So if you can see I'm looking at November 16th, 2021 here. And the price where my cursor is, is 138.41, not that day. So if I want a specific price, I need to point at it. So that's kind of something to keep in mind with the cursor there. You can turn off any cursor by just clicking on it again. Uh, here in the trend line tools, if I click trend line, you'll see I get this pencil. So let's just draw a trend line here. Best Buy here had a pretty obvious trend there for a while before it broke. So let's just say we want to draw this trend line up here. I just start from point A to point B, let go, and then it will draw the, the trend line for me. Now I can actually do a little bit more with this trend line here. I can double click on it and I can put arrows on it if I want to. You can see that I'll put arrows on each end. I, because, so if you wanted to use it as a pointing tool, you could do that. This label will let me set if I want to put performance information on the trend line. So you can see that's 31.48%. Or if I want number of bars instead, excuse me, the number of points. So that was a 32 point move. And if I want the number of bars with it, 35 periods. So that's the number of periods it took to make that move. I can also put in my own custom label and say, wow, what a move or something like that, whatever you want to do. And that will put it into that trend line. But let's just stick with performance and information right there. Okay. I'll go ahead and click OK. You can obviously change colors and styles here. We're not going to do that in this particular video. But if I move that trend line down just a little bit, you can see there's that calculation right there. And if I take it and I move it, it is going to change that percentage because it's calculating off of where I have it plotted. Okay, so there's our there's our trend line right there. Other tools, horizontal line, vertical lines, uh, pretty cut and dry there. So I can just put uh, horizontal lines or vertical lines on my chart. Here we actually have quite a number of different tools that you can go through. So you can row through, rotate through these trend line different uh, tools. Uh, this is a semi-log trend line. I, I failed to mention that. So if you use semi-log, you can use the semi-log trend line. So here we're going to have things like Fibonacci uh, text on your chart. So if I wanted to put text here, I could just type. So if I wanted to put buy right there, I could type that in. I can double click on it to change fonts and colors, all those things. Uh, here we have a symbol palette. So if you wanted to put things like arrows on your charts, you could do that as well close that out, triangles, circles, squares, whatever you're kind of looking for, for making notes. Uh, here we have things like Fibonacci retracements. So if I were to draw a Fibonacci here, and got a little bit of noise on the chart now with all of our other tools here, but I just draw from a bottom to a top and you'll see it gives me the percentage and the price. If I want to change that, I double click on the Fibonacci and this will give me all the built-in variables that come in here. So you can turn off anything that you want to. So if you don't want to see some of these uh, different, uh, you can show turn off the show retracement la labels and have that turned off. Uh, but let's go ahead and leave that on for now. You can change colors of specific lines. Uh, we'll change this one to red. And you'll see that line will change to red. I can add in my own custom values. Let's just say I wanted 75%. That will add it in there. And then I can change that one to orange. And that will put that in. Now, if you want to save that as part of your Fibonacci's moving forward, just come down here to defaults and say, save current page as default. And then every time you plot Fibonacci moving forward, it'll have 75% in there. So that's a way that you can customize it. So all these things are customizable in here and all of them are very self-explanatory on how you plot them or what you need to do. If you're not sure about anything, always just right click on it, go to help, and it will bring up the help for you and kind of give you a guide on how to plot these different things. 
Okay, so that is a quick view of some of the different trend line tools, how to plot them inside Metastock. Hope you found this useful. Keep watching for more informative videos.